What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to be looking at mental methods of calculation for addition and subtraction. So let's waste no time, let's go. Okay, let's start with this green chili challenge. But let's follow these steps today. First we're going to partition, then we're going to calculate, and then we're going to put the numbers back together. So let's see what that means and let's start with this word partition. So when we're partitioning a number, if we take this first number, for example, I have 521. Now when I'm thinking about 521, I need to understand that the 1 is in the 1's column, the 2 is in the 10's column, and the 5 is in the 100's column. So I can actually think of 521 as 500, and then look at my 10's, I have two of them, so it's a 20, and then 1, 1 on its own. So I've partitioned my number into a 500, a 20, and a 1. And I can check I've done that right by just reading the number from left to right. I have 521, and that's exactly what it said before, 521. And as a partitioned number, it's much easier to work with when I'm doing mental calculations. So let's see what that looks like with the other example as well. I have 523, again, three ones, two tens, five hundreds. So let's break it down. I have three ones, two tens, and five hundreds. And again, reading from left to right, I have 523, which is exactly what I had before, 523. So now when I'm doing a mental calculation, I can picture this in my mind. 521 is broken into a 500, a 20, and a 1, and 523 is broken into a 500, a 20, and a 3. And now, even in my mind, I can think to myself, well, let's add these together. So I can add my hundreds, and I can say I have 500 and 500. Well, I know that's going to be 1,000, so in my mind, I've just remembered 1,000. And then 20 and 20 is 40. So in my mind, I'm collecting that 40 and putting it in its own partition place. And then lastly, 1, 1 and 3 ones equals 4 ones. And I can see all of that in my mind's eye. And my last tip was to add it all back together to get my final answer. So if I add 1,000 to 40 and to 4, I end up with 1,000 and 44. And I can do all of that in my head, just simply by partitioning it, calculating it in my mind, and then adding it back together. Let's look at a red chili challenge, which, and I'm just going to do this nice and quickly. 5,245 becomes 5,245, and 2,412 becomes 2,410. Uh, two, there we go. And this question is subtraction, so I'm just going to simply get my 5,000 and subtract 2,000. That leaves me with 3,000. 200, subtract 400. I can't do that, so now I'm going to have to think back to my 3,000 and say to myself, well, I need now one of these thousands, so I'm going to knock that down to a 2,000. And I'm going to give my 1,000 to this 200 here, so my question now says 1,200, subtract the 400, which is 800. So, so far I have 2,800. Now I have a 40, subtract a 10 is 30, and five, subtract two is three. So in this case, my final answer is 2,833. Let's write that in, 2,833. Now this method is only possible to do if you can think about this little borrowing part here where I didn't have enough in my 200 to subtract 400 so I needed to borrow from what I already had calculated which was my 3000 and put that down to a 2000 to get a spare 1000 to give to that 200. If you can do that in your mind that is excellent and you're going to be super super good at mental calculations. This is a red chili challenge, don't forget. So if you can't, don't worry. Keep practicing until you can try and see it and think about it clearly in your mind. It is a challenge, so don't worry if it's really difficult. Now it's your turn. Have a go at practicing with these two challenges here. I have a green chili challenge and I have a red chili challenge. But I must be honest, both of them are super challenging here. 
So have a go, put your answers in the comment section. Good luck. And there we have it guys. That is how to use mental methods of calculation to help you solve problems in your head using the partitioning rule. If this video has been helpful for you, think about subscribing to the channel, give me a thumbs up, or head over to themathshelter.com where you're gonna find loads more help with everything you need to know about maths. But for now guys, see you in another video. Peace out.